This is Robert Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the LD Micro Invitational 2018 in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Stuart Scheinman from Capital Art. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is C-A-P-A. Stuart, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you, Robert. Uh, glad to be here. It's great to have you. So for our audience, let's get an overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Sure. Capital Art is one of the largest pop culture image providers in the world. Okay, so let, let's start with the history. You know, when did you start the company and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? Absolutely. So uh, myself and the chairman of the company, Sam Battistone, have 80 years of combined experience in sports and entertainment sales and marketing. And uh, in 2012, we had the opportunity to acquire a company in New York City called Movie Star News. Movie Star News was the first company to sell Hollywood around the world. Um, they had acquired all the print and marketing materials from the studios um, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s and started a mail order company and was actually one of the largest mail order companies in the U.S. in the 40s and 50s. In 2012, we acquired their archive. We brought them over to Las Vegas to digitize it and figure out the best way to monetize that archive. Uh, since that time, we have acquired 12 other archives. Uh, of uh, significance is the um, Globe Photo Agency. Globe Photos was the nation's top pop culture agency from 1939 up into the 1980s. Um, and prior to Getty was the largest and most interesting uh, agency. And so we acquired that archive, which had 4 million uh, digitized image, images and uh, 10 million slides, negatives, transparencies that we have been digitizing. So a very valuable uh, archive with a large underlying asset. Um, we then figured, okay, a background is sports and entertainment marketing collectibles. How do we ma how do we truly monetize this, and what's the best way to monetize this 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 asset we have? So we first digitized the archive. We then pushed that into our asset management systems. Mm -hmm. From there, we pushed the images over into our licensing division and into our print division. Licensing division is similar to a Shutterstock mm -hmm. or a Getty, so we license images to media organizations all over the world. For the last 79 years, Globe has been licensing to the BBC, Wall Street Journal, People Magazine, every uh, major media outlet, HBO, Arts and Entertainment, for documentaries, significant, significant events in time. So uh, that is one division. Our second division is, is our print division, which we have two areas. We have our fine art, which are interior design division, gallery division, limited edition collectibles, or our mass, which is Amazon's, art.com's, iCanvas, uh, where we sell products, you know, $10 or less, and the other division we sell for $300 or more. Um, so we figured a way to monetize our assets three different ways, uh, but then we figured it would be kind of fun to also use our, our collectibles and create a collectibles division. Uh, so we sell off the original source material as a collectible without copyright. So we, we maintain the copyright. We own our image rights and reproduction rights, but we sell off the uh, collectibles, and that's been a very lucrative business. Uh, often when we buy in very large uh, volumes and full companies, um, our assets could be as low as, as, as pennies. Right. And we so you, sell, so you sell the physical, yes. Uh, and, but you keep the digital, so That's that you correct. can catch gotcha. it. Okay. And so, for example, we've recently did three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars in a January auction, and a, a thirty-five millimeter negative strip that costs us about a penny and a half. After digitizing it, we sold it for two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So nice margins, and then right. we then license that and, and and print that in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. So we have an asset that we own. We've created a real value. We have an appraised value, uh, very strong, mm -hmm. nine figures, eight figures, nine figures. Um, and uh, and then we are now, now we're at a point where we've got our systems in place, we've monetized, we've got our asset management systems, we've outsourced and, par and partnered with printers and marketing teams, and we're taking our archives to market. And so we're, uh, you know, we have had some, some real steady growth, but uh, now we're uh, targeting the end consumer uh, through uh, direct marketing, social media, and really it's an exciting business. Uh, we like to tell people that um, 
really, you know, everybody has their favorite movie, has their favorite movie star, has their favorite sports team, has their favorite um, um, rock band or political figure, and we pretty much have everything. So we have something for everybody. So what's the size of this market that, that you're looking to target? Oh, it's, it's a $50 billion industry. Um, you have, um, I mean, the art world, you have the licensing world. I mean, there's just, we cross over into so many different types of industries that uh, uh, the sky's the limit. Um, yes. So what makes the company then unique in the marketplace? Uh, there really isn't anybody that does what we do. Uh, companies like um, Getty and, and uh, Shutterstock are in the li- primarily in the licensing industry. Companies that, like Art.com or iCanvas are in the print industries. Uh, but nobody kind of transcends and crosses over to all these industries. Nobody does the collectibles industry. And, and, and the person that runs our collectibles industry actually wrote the book on vintage photography. So we go with and we partner with the highest level of, of, of people in order to grow our different divisions. And so, yeah. And what's your background? You know, how did you get into all this? <laughs> I started my first company. I started buying collectibles like everybody else, baseball cards and, and Babe Ruth baseballs. But back in the 1970s, early 1970s, we were paying $50. And, um, and I did that over time, started uh, a business uh, when I was 11. And um, then I kept on growing from there. And since then, I've worked with the National Hockey League, the National Football League. I've done product development for uh, major, a lot of the major football clubs in Europe. Uh, I started a toy manufacturing company in 2003, very similar to a Build-A-Bear, Animal Land, that actually grew to 900 locations. Um, my business partner and the chairman of the board, Sam Battistone, uh, was in the restaurant business, uh, started the NBA franchise for the New Orleans Jazz, moved them over to Utah, and um, also started a company called Field of Dreams, which ultimately sold to Fanatics for $183 million. So um, I think we have a, a very good, uh, deep background in what we're doing, and uh, we're really excited with what we've acquired. We continue to acquire archives and, and assets, and, uh, and our monetization is really what's going to be really exciting over the next year or two. So from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's growth drivers moving forward? Um, well, I think really what we're excited to talk about is we've got a, a, a very exciting sports acquisition coming up. And um, really our, our, our focus is direct-to-consumer, print-on-demand, print-in-store, and personalization. I'll just leave it in the broad strokes, but uh, we've got, we got, we got the golden ticket. And where can our audience go and find more information about the company? www.globephotos.com. And uh, one last thing I wanted to say that we are going to be, we're in the middle of a name change. Uh, We're going to be changing our name from Capital Art over to Globe Photos. And just wanted to let everybody know, once we have our approval, we'll get our ticker out there. But you can go to find everything on capitalart.com or globephotos.com. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the LD Micro Invitational 2018 in Bel Air, California. With me again is Stuart Scheinman from Capital Art, publicly traded company, the symbol is CAPA. Stuart, thank you very much for joining me. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.